I was asked, would I ever marry a girl that was known for hoeing in the early 80s? Yes, I would. I'm gonna tell y'all niggas why. Girls that's known for hoeing, I don't think of them as that. I think of them as girls that like to have fun. Just like niggas that like to have fun. You got a girl, she wanna go mess with this dude. That's her chocolate ice cream. Maybe she wants some vanilla ice cream. Maybe she wants some strawberry ice cream. Maybe she wants some pecan ice cream. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she wants some sherbet ice cream. Maybe she want a milkshake. Mix all of them in. <sighs> Maybe she wanna sprinkle some cookies in there. Maybe she wants some Oreos. Maybe she wants some chocolate chip cookies. Maybe she want all these other things. It's like a nigga. You got a dude. You know what I'm saying? Somebody like me that doesn't really want relationships. You want to know why? It's because in the past... Okay, these are, the, these are the reasons why guys end up being what some girls like to call us as hoes. Which I am not a hoe. That they call us hoes. Now look at this. First of all, Let's get things straight. Let's clarify things. There's no such thing as a, as a hoe. I don't even think Kim Kardashian's a hoe. I just think Kim Kardashian's a girl that's misunderstood that likes to have sex. She likes getting pleasure. Um, this is why guys become hoes. One, they've been screwed over by the opposite sex or the same sex. That's if you like men, do you. Don't come my way, though. Don't come my way, though. But, yeah, it's because, A, they've been screwed over. B, they thought they loved somebody and got their heart broken. C, they've been rejected when trying to be in a serious relationship. D, they're just not with, with, they not with the relationships no more, bro. As you can see, all these tie into the same thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. All of them tie into the same thing. It's girls out there that's more ruthless than guys. Like, I would know. I would I would know. It's a high school story. Uh, it's the time I got my heart broken, right? This is the first time I got my heart broken. The second time is way more vicious, way more crazy. So I'm not telling them right now. But the first time I got my heart Wanna know what happened? I was with this girl, I'm not giving out her name, but I was with this girl. I'm gonna call her Mini Me. I was with, no, just Mini. I was with Mini for a long time, bro. I'm gonna say about a year and a half, my nigga. We've broken up, I think, three times and got back together, bro. Three times. Now, when I met her, she always had an attitude. Now, look. If you, got, if you always got an attitude, I, ca I can't deal with you, bro. I can't deal. But it was something about her that got to me, you know what I'm saying? I wiped the dog. I wiped her, bro. I wiped her. I got with her. I cuffed. I was on the scene, my nigga. I was a little pussy. I was a little bitch. But. Now. I know BS from Malloway, but I was just trying to make her happy. That's all the things that went down. I used to be at the gym. She used to not want me to be at the gym so much. She came to see me at the gym sometimes. You know what I'm saying? She used to not want me to be at the gym. So I stopped going to the gym. Big mistake. Cause I don't think I was, I was never the same at hooping, bro. Big mistake. Um, she wanted me to stop going to the gym. Cool. Anything for you? She broke up with me after she convinced me to not go to the gym for a week. She 
broke up with me because I was liking pictures on Instagram. Now the picture I liked was of a girl that had on the tank top, bro. So I'm like, I was confused. I'm like, so why did you break up with me? You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of confused. She was like, you're sitting here liking these pictures on Instagram. These are her exact words. You're liking these pictures on Instagram. Like, I can't see that you're liking these pictures. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, all right. I wasn't about to cry. Now, the other girl that broke my heart. I did everything I could to get us back together, but it didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? After the last straw, I was the last straw. But with her, you gotta understand, I wasn't the same person I was when I met the other girl. And I wasn't the same person I was when I met the other girl that I am now. You know what I'm saying? Keep up. Keep up. So, back to what I was saying. What was I? I was doing everything to keep her happy. She broke up with me one time. Cool. I got mad. I got mad. I was like, fine, nigga. <laughs> so I applied to that nigga. I was like, fine, nigga. I'm gonna do what I want. Now, she was at my best friend at the time. I had three best friends. Now I have one. One loyal best friend. But she was at my best friend's house, dude. Best friend texted me saying, hey, man, she really wanna talk to you. I said, I'm gonna talk to her, nigga. We, we, we broken up. That means I'm free. I can go best friend and just have a girl I want to. I'm out, nigga. You ain't gotta make me worry about me no more. I decided to talk to her. <sighs> decided to talk to her, bro. We got back together. It was cool. Second time she broke up with me, it was in the cafeteria at, at breakfast. Because I forgot the reason I honestly did. It was something stupid. I was like, cool. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even get mad this time. I was just like, all right. And then she got mad because I said, because I didn't, I guess I didn't react right. I don't know. I do not know. But I know she didn't like my response. So she decided to curse me out while sitting on the, uh, the breakfast table. In front of all my niggas, it wasn't going down like that. I laughed in the face, walked away. True story, swear to God. That's what I did, okay? That's that's what I did. I lost, ha, ha, ha. She walked away, went to class. She texted me, why you laugh? I said, because it was funny. That's exactly what happened, nigga. I put that on my life, boy. I don't put that. I laughed in her face, dog. Nigga, I ain't care, nigga. So then she got, okay, my ex-girlfriend and her were kind of cool. So she got my ex-girlfriend to text me. Because I wasn't I wasn't responding to her text anymore because she would flip everything that I said and make it seem like I was saying something else. She said, I got all these niggas texting my line and I'm trying to be with you, right? This, this is just one example. She said, I got all these niggas on my line, I'm trying to be with you. I was like, all right, man, cool. They gonna be with all them niggas. She texted my ex, right? And she was like, he said that I was a hoe. I'm like, nigga. I said, when did I say you was She said, you said that he, she could go be with all those niggas. I said, bro, she literally texted me and said, I got all these niggas trying to be with me. And then I said, go be with all those niggas. You see how people, you see how she, she, she was a psycho. Dog. Just flip it all up, dog. For, I'm gonna keep PG. Forget that girl. You know what I said. I said, bleep that hoe, nigga. What you mean, nigga? Those that was lit, nigga. I was going in, hey, boy. It was stupid lit. But then she got my actual best friend to talk to me. And that's how we got back together the second time, bro. So we get back together, right? So, no. This is the third time we got back together, was it? Actually, no, I'm gonna just skip, I'm gonna just skip to the this is a short story. I'm going to just skip to the end. If y'all want to hear the details, I'll just drop the, the actual story if y'all want to hear the actual story. But this, this is what I was talking about. I skipped to the actual end, bro. This is what happened when you crossed me. Now, okay, we're, we're kind of cool. But we'll never be what we were before. Now, okay, I got with her, bro. 
and she cheated on me, my nigga. So that brings you back to what I said at the beginning when I said girls can be just as heartless and ruthless as niggas. So when you call a girl a hoe, and you call niggas hoes, because girls like to go against niggas so much. I hate seeing that, bro. I hate seeing that. Girls be like, oh, niggas ain't shit. Oh, that nigga. Oh, this, that, and that. I'm like, yo, like, it's girls that do the same thing. So you out here calling girls hoes and niggas hoes. Like, what is a hoe? Somebody that don't want relationships? Somebody that would rather have fun than be tied down? Or, like, somebody that risks getting cheated on? That's me. I would never risk getting cheated on again. Like, even though I do talk to somebody right now, I don't think I'll ever get in a relationship, bro. I've been in a total of, I'm going to say, eight relationships. One of them was successful. But we broke up and became, like, the bestest friends ever. One for eight, bro? No. Look, relationships, bro. Relationships are just for you to have somebody there until you find somebody you want to marry. And I might not even get married for So you out here call, so people out here calling niggas hoes and girls hoes. Let me tell you why people become hoes. That's what the whole point of this was. People become hoes because they've been broken up with. They've been let down. Their heart's been broken. Bro. They risk, they'd rather not get their heart broken. Or they're afraid of commitment. Me, it is all of the above, bro. My heart's already been broken. I don't want to be broken again. I'm afraid of commitment. I don't want to be committed to anybody. I'd rather have somebody that's just there. Yeah.